um i'll quickly uh read this in my that's okay <laughs> in my in my uh awesome narrator voice yay so far so good if your skirmish with security set off any alarms you don't hear them monica leads the rest of the team downwards into the basement of the harfold manor your payday is waiting the do data vault lies ahead Ooh. <laughs> uh, i do like being hammy from time to time <laughs> And money is awaiting. <laughs> All right. Dietrich eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big frickin' vault, Leipkin. Yeah. Well, All right. So this is a job for you, then. Try to do Glory's voice. Yeah, I just need to wait one second before the dialogue pops up, because I'm a few seconds behind. No problem. Bigger than on the schematic. This one is also for you. I can have to wait a second, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the other side of this door. <sighs> saucy. Hey, <laughs> she looks saucy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Monica combs a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal the black plastic sheath of her data check. Seriously, look at her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> a quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's complink, Iger. Still in position outside the es estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica what? rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. And I guess also a woman, isn't she? Like the orc? Uh, <laughs> as far as I can see, is a m uh, it's a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just the eyes. I don't know, it looks feminine to me. Um, Monica. We've been through this before, Eager. You're not in the KSK anymore. And that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. Well, from what I know from Shadowrun games, you, you should have a leader from time to time. Um, probably helps. Like, if you're doing a group job, having one in charts to say, hey, we're doing this now. It's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. This one's for you as well. Yeah, again, sorry, I'm a few things behind. Um, we don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the flock state. And waiting again. <laughs> all right, all right. Let, let me look at this portrait real closely and i think you may be onto something with it being a female <laughs> it's also when i look at the mouth and everything yeah like she has a very narrow jaw right uh-huh yeah that tends to be like tell yeah now of course being a troll the voice could sound a little bit more uh masculine but yeah uh, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> Go as low as you can. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I should go with a more hoarse kind of voice. Um, please, <laughs> spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. <laughs> uh, every, time, every time someone says hoarse, I just immediately go... <laughs> Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I tried not to laugh. <laughs> I, I even have one of those, uh, you've probably seen him on the internet somewhere, one of those horses masks. Really? Yeah. Bought it for Halloween oh. one time. <laughs> and uh, oh my God. I remember going to a friend uh, that day. We were going to do a horror marathon. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I, I just wore the mask while we were walking through the city, going to the store to pick up snacks and everything. <laughs> oh my god. 
That sounds so much fun. I would have loved to see that. Just everyone staring. Yeah, I, I did get some comments here and there. Oh. I, I even almost scared a little boy. Uh oh. <laughs> but almost, so not. Uh, my job could have been better. Yeah, you could have done better then. Oh. Like there were a couple of guys like last Halloween. I noticed I had to wait for the bus to go back home. And it was like late in the evening. And they were sitting like two guys kind of sit down on either side of me at the bus stop. I look at one of them, look at the other. They're both wearing black like clothes, black boots, black gloves. And then they have like this black hood on so you can't see the hair. And you can tell that their neck and face have been painted black. And then they have these, these like uh, Jason Voorhees kind of hoggy masks on. Mm -hmm. And they're just sitting there staring at me silently. Just like, hello! <laughs> awkward. Really awkward. <laughs> uh, uh, last Halloween, um, a friend invited me to go to an amusement park with her. It was all Halloween themed. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, uh, excuse me. Wel te rusten. My mom uh, was going to sleep. Ah, uh, okay. So I just said good night, well, in Dutch, but... Well, good night and sweet dreams to your mom, then. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we went to the amusement park, and then there was we went to one uh, haunted house. Well, haunted house was just a spook house, really. Yeah. And the, well, the setup was that a famous DJ here in Belgium lost a friend there, and we were there to find him. But of course, he wasn't there. Uh -huh. But what we did find were lots of people with chainsaws. <laughs> of course, as you do. Yeah. And I had a real moment of terror <laughs> for one of the first times in my life there. It, it was, uh -huh. m m my reaction was just like a, a horror movie cliche where I fl fell flat on my arse <laughs> and was crawling <laughs> back. It's like, ah! <laughs> What happened? What scared you so? Well, one one dude just jumped right in front of me. <laughs> I was like, Jesus! <laughs> uh, and your like survival instinct was like, fall on my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Then again, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my favorite horror movies, and chainsaws they kind of put a scare to me. <laughs> well, to most people, I would guess. Mm. <laughs> Now, of course, there was no chain on them, but the sound of them alone is uh, enough to put some terror yeah. in me. Yeah, like your brain already knows that sound means there's something dangerous up ahead. Yeah. Like, I have to be careful. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to close the window real quick because the storm has finally arrived. Woohoo! You got my clouds. Maybe you can hear those raindrops. Oh. No, not really. I'll drop some. Uh, <laughs> okay. You know what? We are forgetting to play the game. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's <laughs> let's continue on with that. <laughs> this is going to be a lovely episode for your channel. Well, I don't really put them on the channel or anything, but. You don't? You don't save them? Well, like I said, um, this is only for shits and giggles for the moment, so. Mm. Oh, okay. I thought you had like a channel where you saved them on or something like that. Well, I could. It would give you more views, I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 continue on with our yeah. tea trick. Best get used to it, Iger love. Iger, she sighs. Yeah. Iger love, yeah. Then it's definitely a, a female. Because <laughs> tea trick doesn't really seem gay. <laughs> <sighs> well, you never know. Yeah. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that it needs an answer. Yeah. Alright, what would my character say? Mm. Mm. I think... It, de it depends, like, is your character, you know, like, better safe than sorry, or... I'll I'll rather go rogue and go alone. 
than being safe and sorry. Just being safe for myself. Uh, well, the problem is that I can't really give a backstory on this character, but... Uh, I think it would be best if we had someone to look out for. Mm. All right. I agree. Iger's right, Monica. We should have a second in command, just in case. I love that you can do accents. I can't do accents. <laughs> Monica stares at you for a moment, cheerily irritated. Then that twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you as she speaks into her comlink. Oh my. I think Monica has the huts for the door. <laughs> well, can you blame her? <laughs> nah. I mean, she has like a bluish purple kind of streak in her hair, so maybe that's a bit of, you know, connect. Hey, hey, I'm blue. da ba dee da ba -dee. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, no, I can't concentrate. I can't stop laughing. Oh, damn you. Damn you, Warren. <laughs> <sighs> okay, straight face. Very well. We'll do this one, I guess, way. Well, I'm jacked in. Warren Kimball is in charge. Bow chicka wow wow. I like how you say um, my nickname with a W instead of a V. Or. Well, how would you like me to pronounce it then? Well, I pronounce it Varen. Varen. Oh. You see, then I would have it with only like one R. But that's probably my Danish showing through. Maybe. Like, like I said, um. My my nickname is from uh, it's a combination of two game game series. Um. The the Varen part is from a an alien species from the Mass Effect series. Mm -hmm. And Kimbolt comes from a char minor character in uh, The Witcher Two. Oh, okay. But I wrote it with a D instead of a T. <laughs> so you don't play your eyes. You just took inspiration. Uh, something like that, maybe. Uh, it may it will it's probably more that I uh, misspelled it when I first made the name. <laughs> it's like a D oh. sounds better here. Oh well. I think you can tell the version that you feel most comfortable with, so if you're trying to impress someone probably go with I just thought it looked cooler. Like I know how to spell. Or I just <laughs> had D on the mind. Yeah. Okay. I can see now, so it's Iger again. Yes. There's a pause. Then Iger's voice crackles out of the calm link again. Aaron Kimbold, did I hear you right? You're putting the rookie in command? <laughs> Arr, not happy! <laughs> mm. You know what? I think you should like put your foot down and be very firm and stern towards Aiga here. Like, show that you're, you know, dominant. <laughs> Assert my dominance. <laughs> yes. Listen, Aiga, you asked for a decision and you got one. Exactly. Okay, waiting again. <laughs> right, one for you again. <laughs> yeah, I can. I know. That's why there's a silence and I'm waiting. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I did not sign up for this! How can you do this to me? I'll never rest for this. <laughs> oh, that, <clears throat> that, that voice acting in Human Revolution. Oh. <laughs> I know that this is a joke to you, Monica, but I'm telling you! Oh, seriously. I just had a wax the other day, and now I have to do this. This is even more painful. I never thought that was possible. Have you seen how hairy my back is? <laughs> oh my god, sorry. Yeah, you're really getting into <laughs> character there. Own... <laughs> I should laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> Iger. Monica's tone is all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision is made. You have your answer. Uh, and by the way, I have seen how hairy your bag is, and yes, I understand that hurt, but nothing can hurt more than that. Uh, anyway, we have something, someone new in chat. Hello, Royal B. Hey, is that Blake? I uh, think it's uh, Blake. Is that you, Blake? 
Oh. I'm helping out with the voice acting. <laughs> oh, well, uh, welcome, Blake. Yay. Acknowledged. Without another word, I guess the image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. In the distance, the rest of the team can hear a low growl and a chill runs down their spines. All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, Royal Blake, I hope you uh, enjoy a bit of it of... Uh, an action between Varen and Moff. Yay! Though my voice acting is a little bit delayed because of European internet. But we'll manage. Okay, Monica again. Sorry about that. I can be inflexible. I should know. I tried scissoring her. Didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you made me laugh too. Why? <laughs> no, that was that was too good to pass up. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it was an obvious joke. I had to do it. Hmm. <clears throat> the legacy of a long military career, but she knows what she is doing, and she means well, except in bed. Uh... So, Warren, what do you have to say to me? Uh, let's go with this one. No sweat, I'll buy you a beer and talk it out after the run. That's my dwarf. Well, I'll buy myself something else than an orc then. Something more flexible. If I survive this run, which I think I will. But, oh well. Good man. I guess skills and experience are invaluable to this team. Yeah. At least she's good at that. It would be a good to have her on your side. Just remember that. And she's bigger and heavier than you, so yeah, watch out. Well, I do. I do pack a punch. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You fisted a guy to death. I'm still very impressed by that. <laughs> okay, enough chatter, everyone. I say let's get down and dirty and get some action. Let's get this done. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Monica just seems like the type who would like do sex talk all the time. Like, look at her eyes. Seriously. They are very seductive. Mm. And also, like, she's always, you know, being a bit of a tease to know be on top of the situation. All, all, mm. all she sees is uh, she has a toothpick in her mouth. So. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, that's like badass chick, but with a soft side. Yes. She's definitely on top. Just <laughs> letting you know now. Mm. Monica turns towards the door, fingers poised on the controls of her cyber deck, and glances back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. Alright. Then she punches it, projecting her consciousness into the cyberspace, her fingers hum harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. I'm sure she's yeah. very proficient with her fingers. Yep, I think so too. <laughs> so Blake, how are you enjoying the voice acting? And she died. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Without, <sighs> without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spams ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down to see a num a nub of pink flesh hit the floor, the tip of her tongue. I s you know what? She probably got seduced by some like cyber vixen. Went down to you know to get some action, got burned. <laughs> like, that's my theory. Well, let's keep it that. Uh, yeah, yes, Blake, this is uh, Shadowrun Berlin, or more commonly known, uh, Dragonfall. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps towards Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from her data jack. 
Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen Decker in a bear hug, holding her against the convulsions that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you are only dimly aware of the door slumming sh slamming shut behind you. Mm. Oh, decisions, decisions. Help Glory pull the plug on Monica's data jack. Smash Monica's cyber deck. Help Dietrich hold Monica down. Mm. You know what? If you help Glory... Maybe you'll get lucky. Like, I can't really tell if she's into girls as well, but... Well, I think my character would maybe say, <laughs> SMASH! But... Yeah. Uh, although mm. I, I am pretty strong, so I could pull that data, data jack out. Yeah. Again, what would be best security wise, you know, for the team and the mission and all that? That well, might be. The security, uh, our cover is already blown, so we don't have to worry about that. That's true. I'm just, and... I'm, I'm just thinking about. Um, um, if I should let Monica pay for a new cyberdeck if she survives this? <laughs> yeah. Ah, decisions, decisions. All right, my dwarven mind goes to smash. <laughs> Yay! Let's smash. Okay, the cyber deck was constructed to withstand a bomb blast. Try as you might, you can't manage to crack its casing, let alone damage its internal circuitry. While you beat on the deck in vain, Glory manages to yank the cord out of Monica's head. A wisp of oily blue smoke <coughs> traced its way from her data jack to the ceiling. Well, fuck. Ah, shit. <laughs> the, co mm. the commingled scent of charred meat and ozone filled the air. You've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Me. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> You're spoiling everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse oh me, but I have to play the game too as well. <laughs> really? You do? Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open, muscle tremors continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing and the look of concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. Mm. Okay, that's either very, very bad or so good it's bad. Like, maybe she ha she's having the most intense orgasm of her life and her whole body is just, like, shaking from it. Uh, I think we'll go for the first option. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> All right, um, just stay with us, Monica, okay? We're going to get you out of here. My man. Uh, glory part. <laughs> yeah, have to wait a second. Oh. Save your breath. Glory's voice is strained. She's had a stroke, a bad one. She'll be dead before we're even back to the van. Hmm. Maybe Gloria and Monica were a thing. And maybe Monica then had a bit of a side adventure with Iger. Or maybe they were both in the bed with Iger. Hmm. You're spinning all kinds of lesbian uh, undertones <laughs> here. I'm trying to give, you know, people some material for the fan fiction. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you still there, Blake? By the way. Uh, you know Blake. He's he's always kind of quiet. Mm. Sorry, so, sorry, Blake. No offense, but you're you're also pretty quiet in Jack's stream. So. Yeah, but we would like some comments on the lesbian, you know, conspiracy theories. <laughs> Just for funsies. Um, yeah. Damn it! What the hell happened to her in there? Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in a stick slick covering her chest. 
She expels mm -hmm. a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied, she closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shapes she needs. A kiss? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's all I can think about. I want a last kiss before I go. Mwah. No, <laughs> you're thinking in Hollywood themes. <laughs> I'm just getting into character. <laughs> fear. Fear. With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze. And something else. Hope? Yeah, I also think she will end up as a vegetable, Blake. <laughs> um, even like the chat is slow on my end. Fucking sucks. We need better internet in Europe. Mm. Really do. Or just uh, no monopolies. Mm. Okay. Okay, this looks like a German word, like fire swingy. Fire swingy! I <laughs> uh, also don't recognize that. Like, fire would be fire, right? Mm hmm. And then swingy, I have no idea what that could be. <laughs> no idea as well. Hmm. Then again, I had three years of German, but I remember barely anything about it. Yeah, same here. Like, I can, like, ask for directions, and I can order a beer. And I don't drink beer, so that's really useful. <laughs> <laughs> and I can, like, say my name, like, hello, my name is, like, so, <laughs> that's all. Yeah, the, the very basic stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's also the same with uh, me in, in Spanish. I can I can ask for for a beer in Spanish, but then again, I don't uh, drink a lot of beer, so. Yeah, like I had three years of Spanish as well, but I had the worst teacher ever. Plus, it was before I got my diagnosis, so school and like overall was just difficult. Um, but yeah, I don't remember any of it, but it. I can still, like, if you give me a text, I can still read it with, like, semi-proper pronunciation, because I remember that. Can't tell you what it means, though. Yeah, um, well, with me, with Spanish, I had, uh, like, two months of it. <laughs> and, ah. and the only only reason I really know the, uh, for beer, that it, cervezas, por favor, is because of a, uh, a song here in Belgium. Ah. Music can teach us a lot of stuff, just like TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, it's it's from a genre that I r really don't like. But it it was played so much during the summer. Like, uh, like yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with the music <laughs> genre Schlager. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. It's it's in, it's incredibly popular here in Belgium. Like it had like, you know, Hansi Hinters here. Like, he's one of the big slagger singer thingies mm. from Germany. And he apparently sells, like, a ton of CDs in Denmark. And they're actually, but it's generally, like, seniors who listen to him. So there are all these, like, bus trip trips you can go on stuff. So you can, like, drive to Germany and then... You can see him, and it's always like seniors sitting there. But he yeah, yeah, he, it's it's it's, it's always well. always old people. It seems <clears throat> yeah, and I've always been making a fun of it. Always thought it was hilarious and a little bit embarrassing that people will listen to that stuff. And then I found out that my mom's like uh, father-in-law and mother-in-law, like her in-laws. They are both huge Hansi Hinterseer fans, and they are one of those people who actually goes on those like bus trips to see him <laughs> perform and stuff. Oh I'm just like, oh no, it's in the family now. It's in the family. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to search a lot here in Belgium in order to find some Slager music. There's always somewhere playing. Well, not really here, but like if you, like Scandinavian like dance music, like especially from Sweden. That tends to every summer. There's usually like some song that's just get, gets played everywhere all the time, and after a week, you you want to kill yourself if you hear it again. There was this song, uh, 
It was with um, Base Hunter, I think his name is. It was like, I'm the hater, I'm the hater, I'm And it was just about oh, a that one. Yeah. Oh my god, that was everywhere all the time. Like, I was in my teens and, like, late teens, and it was before I really discovered, like, rock and metal and stuff. So I just listened to it because there was nothing else to listen to. But, yeah, like, the day I found a Within Temptation video on YouTube changed my life. Mm. Never looked back. <laughs> my my first metal band was Lordy. <laughs> uh, from the... Uh, Grand Prix. Oh, I was so happy when they won. I was just like, yeah. Yeah, that was, the, that was the only time I really paid attention to Eurovision. <laughs> oh. M Moff, you still there? Hello? Oh, there you go. Yeah, th I think that. There you are again. Oh, oh no. You uh, cut away there for a second. I did, sorry. That internet could, could also be because of the storm here you know what i blame the storm let's go with that yeah all right let's let's continue playing the game now <laughs> sorry Blake. we get sidetracked every once in a while and that happens when you're having fun okay a sudden spasm jerks monica's head back again she grunts then her chin drops to her chest and her head lolls to one side her eyes fixed on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of a cursor blinks on its recessed screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again, but the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. Uh, uh, Blake, it's uh, it's one with lightning. Oh, so lucky! I love lightning storms. They're the best. Well. I'd rather they keep a little bit of distance away from me. Oh, I absolutely love them. Like, I've been into, like, a vacation house out at the coast at one point, and we could actually, in the middle of the night, we would sit in the darkness of the living room. We could see the lightning, like, hit the water way out. It was amazing. Yeah. We, um... Uh, there was Saturday... I think Saturday morning that we had a also a small storm here. Then the lightning was really close. It's like flash and a, a real bang. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, when you're sitting there, okay, lightning have to count. You go like one explosion. You're like, okay, right above me, right above me. <laughs> yeah, my my parents they were um, at the boat at their boat at that point, and a uh, lightning strike hit right into a tower next to them. Ah oh, shit! That must have been intense. Yeah, my uh, as as my mom told it, she was just in the middle of changing, and then she was scared shitless. <laughs> well, that happens. Um, by the way, should I read the next part as well? Like, oh, uh, if you want. Yeah, I think we better get on with the game. <laughs> Sorry, Blake. By the way, Blake, if you want to invite people over from Twitter and stuff, please do. The more, the merrier. And what to say? A look of resignation washes over Monica's face, and she stops fighting. Her gore slick jaw goes slack, and she dies. Goodbye, cruel world. I, I think maybe if we had picked any choice, that she would have died anyway. Yeah, she probably would have. It's like a telltale game in that case. Yeah. No matter what you choose, you always get the same damn ending. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, that frustrated me so hard when I played the Game of Thrones Telltale game. All roads lead to Rome. That's probably their philosophy. And by the way, Glory, just so you know, you're going to be my lesbian fantasy right now. She's so fucking hot. I can't get over it. Like, why can't I meet women like that in real life that look like that and have that kind of badass attitude on their face? That would be the best. Uh, sometimes you have to be lucky. Or you have to be born in the 80s or 90s. Eh, true. Uh, oh, I, being I, I, I have such a fascination with the style of the uh, of the 80s. 
I'm more of a 90s kind of kid, but that's because that's when I grew up. Yeah, uh, I, I was in, I was 90 I was from 95, so uh, I'm from 89, so I remember like the buffalo shoes and the black leggings. And all my leggings had like holes in the knees because well, of course. Because my, my um my balance is not the best and also my feet like kind of pointed towards each other a lot more than they do now fortunately. So I'd always like trip and fall. So I always had like these scratches on my knees and band aids and holes and stuff like that. <laughs> so it wasn't a style choice, it just happened because I continually fell over. Okay then. <laughs> What do you mean, no wound to heal? Don't you see my health bar? It's like halfway down. The game's ignoring you. Spank it into submission. Uh, what if I could? Oh, you're from 79, Blake. So you are technically born as a flower child. All That's right. cool. And punch me in the face. Now we get behind here, behind some heavy cover. I'll try to keep your girl alive. Please do. Otherwise she'll stay alive in my spank bank forever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, throwing knife. And missed. Tactics, tactics. Or just run up to them and punch them in the face. You know what? That works too. And cut them out of cover. Yay! <laughs> and still missed. <laughs> oh, now we got them. <laughs> the Pepsi Generation Royal. <laughs> so, so you're responsible for that commercial. Oh no! Royal, seek cover before he fists you to death. <laughs> you already fisted one enemy to death today. Several. Well, oh, true. Well, to be fair, like, again, my stream is lagging a bit, so if I missed one, that's the reason why. MCPO's building <laughs> maintenance software version 101. Internal memory check some invalid. Varen Kimbolt. Farron Gimbold, Farron Gimbold, Farron Gimbold. Blame Carlton? What does Carlton have anything to do with this? <laughs> oh. Give me just one sec, guys. I'll be right back. Alright. Oh. Okay, let me know if you get any, like, background noise. It was just getting, like, very hot in here, so I had to open the door. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's also getting a bit hot in here, so I'm thinking about turning on the fan, but... Getting hot in here, so, so take, take off all off. your clothes. I am getting so hot, I'm gonna take my clothes off. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright. Just pull off my pants real quick. <laughs> yeah! My chair may get a bit sweaty, but whatever. <laughs> well, Carlton, well, you know. Carlton was in the Pepsi commercial? Seriously? Oh, didn't spot him there. No, I saw it once, I was like, this sucks. And then yeah. I forgot about it, and then, you know, I saw like, that people were raving about it, and I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just didn't care much. I just thought it was bad. Uh, I, th I had one look at it as well and I was like, this is stupid. Yeah. Alright. Dietrich scans the room nervously. They've sealed the door behind us. We've got to find another way out of here. What are you doing? Uh, Monica was trying to tell me something about this terminal. It must be important. Well, any IDs? Something tells me we're going to have more company soon. Stay mm -hmm. frosty, Dietrich. Just give me a minute. I'm so far behind the dialogue now. <laughs> it sucks. Well, this next text box is, text box is mostly computer talk. Oh, okay. 
a, and you'll see a, a problem has been detected with a core component of MCPOS. Restore MCPOS to a factory default settings. Y yes, no. Warning, restore process will take several minutes to execute. Connected doors and peripherals will be disarmed when complete. Well, I have no other choice, so hit the Y key. Fire and Kimball, Fire and Kimball, Fire and Kimball, Fire and Kimball, Fire and Kimball. Oh, Aaron, how do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, uh, I'll look it up uh, later, like, because I have nothing to look it up on right now because of, like, Twitch and Skype and, yeah. And everything. <laughs> yeah. As you watch, the number of the screen slowly begins to climb. This is going to take a while. Ugh. <sighs> You glance down at the second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In place of a simple data vault, it seems you've stumbled upon some kind of a massive underground complex. It's, uh? al it's always this case with Shadowrun. <laughs> Snow one seems. A map of the hold fast grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The doors currently being rebooted by the system's restore process are flashing a dull red. Okay, it's flashing a dull red. Like, couldn't it be like a vibrant one or a crimson one? Like, a bit more exciting, you know? Well, it is in the process of rebooting. Uh, oh, yeah. When you read the part where, like, the numbers on the screen, like, slowly climbs up, all I could think was, you know, when you have, um, you know, when you're uh, closing down your PC and it's like, installing update 1 or 32, and you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I know that feeling. <laughs> like the weird thing is with my computers when I update, uh, well when the update happens they end always at 30% and then they're like, oh, update done. It's like, mine never okay, does then. that. Mine usually goes to like, you know, like 99% done. And then it's just stuck there for five minutes because for some reason it's like, oh, the last stretch is so fucking difficult. Have to fight, have to fight. Every fucking time. Or when mm. Steam wants, just you're doing something online, it's like, Steam is updating, and everything just halts on your computer. Just, mm. uh, that's when it's taking, taking priority. Yeah, it's just, ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that's why I don't really use, um, well, I try to limit Steam uh, these, these days. Yeah. Like, uh, this game, I bought it via... Um, GOG. Oh yeah, good old games. Yeah, I, I love that site. Yeah, I had I've had a look to see if I could find some old games that I miss playing, like Theme Hospital and like the first like Roller Coaster Tycoon game. I think you can find all of those. Yeah. Ah, that would be nice to have. <laughs> it's, it's also with with GOG. Um, it's mostly guaranteed that the game will work on your uh, computer. The, and mm -hmm. if if it's not, you have you're entitled to a refund immediately. Oh, that's nice. That's very uh, nice. Blake, I played a little bit of the beta of Gwent, uh, but not too much. I was in I was in the closed beta. I don't know what Gwent is. Uh, Gwent is a spin-off from The Witcher Three. Uh, in The Witcher 3, you had a card game you could play called Gwent and became so popular that it's now its own game. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, now I know. <laughs> God, the, the, I pl wa wasted too much time on those Gwent quests in Witcher 3. <laughs> it's like the, quest the, last, the last achievement you get for that is like, I think I have a Gwent problem. No shit! <laughs> Oh my god, I wish you could get that achievement for Stardew Valley. Like, last I checked, I think I'm above 600 hours now. Yeah, I saw that. Oh my god. I, I don't even know. Uh, like, I don't even know. Like, I sit down, like, okay, gonna play for two hours. Six hours later, it's just, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that went my day. Yeah. <laughs> And that you you've played more Stardew Valley than I have ever played of my most uh, played game, which is like 212 hours in Dawn of <laughs> oh, War 2. Well, to be fair, like Stardew Valley was one of the first like proper games I ever bought on uh, on Steam, and that I ever wanted to sit down and play continuously. Um, before that, it was only games like uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon and 
Sims 2 that I used to play uh, when I had like the discs and stuff. So it was like the first game I bought, like you know, Steam wise, without any discs or anything like that. Yeah, my, and f I, for me that was a retro. That was Dawn of War 2 Retribution as well. That's why I've played so much of it. <laughs> yeah, and also I bought it at a time when like my Asperger's were acting up. Like I was, I was still getting over the diagnosis and everything, and. There was just some. I watched some let's plays of the games, and I really loved it. And when I played it, there was just so, something about the routine you get into that really helped me like settle down a little bit. It's like, okay, now I have a routine again. I know how to follow a routine. I can do that in a game. I can do that in real life. So that kind of helped. I can see uh, that. That's why. Yeah, and I like that with strategy games. Um, mm -hmm. I get into a routine and a rhythm. Right. Two weeks of Civ Five. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, well, Civilization Five. I tried to watch Let's Plays of Civ Five, and I was like, no, boring, don't like it. And then Civ Six came out, and I've been doing nothing but non-stop binge-watching Let's Plays of that. So for some reason, the whole Civ Six thing just fits me better. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Civ. Um. I, play, I played Civilization Five because a, a friend uh, wanted to play multiplayer with with our group, and uh, my God, he he was dominating us. <laughs> and 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 he tried to limit himself because he played with Venice, so you can only have one city uh, as yeah. as as Venice. But he was still kicking our ass and everything. <laughs> then again, I was I was playing uh, I was playing Mongolia. Which you're supposed to fight all the time, and I wasn't fighting all the time, so mm. it's just not my uh, gameplay style in strategy, in strategy games. I'm I'm more of a uh, turtle first, and then um, go out uh. and attack. Ah, uh, okay. The the only game I'm not uh, like that is in well in the Dawn of War games, but then again, those games are designed in order to make you uh, get out of your base faster. It kind of forces you to play a certain way. Yeah, with... well, it's just uh, in order to get resources, you have to uh, go out into the map and everything, so... Okay, so it forces you to be more proactive. Yes. Okay. And it's a little bit easier for that in Dawn of War 2, because they uh, disabled, they did away with base building in that game, so it's, it's your focus is just on the units. Mm. And for some reason, that really clicked with me. <laughs> She's like, yay, I love this. Let's do it 200 hours plus. Yeah, well, most of that was uh, spent in the horror mode of that game. <laughs> which was also amazing. Oh, I have such a hoarding problem when I play strategy strategy games. Like both in Stardew Valley and this war of mine. Hoarding everything. Well, it's mo <laughs> that, that's mostly in RPGs for me. Uh I play strategy games mostly. I like I tried RPGs, like Stardew Valley is a bit of an RPG, and that's okay for me. But I like the strategy aspects the best. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, oh. w w with me, it's RPG, strategy, and um, first-person shooters here and there. And I also really love hack and slash games like Bayonetta and God of War. And you like Jedi games, except when the damn lizard is "quote unquote" cheating. Look, <laughs> <laughs> that damn lizard can go to hell. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Like at one point, it was just like, "Okay, we're going again," and he died. <sighs> going and died, died. Okay, <laughs> just waiting, and then the rage came, and I was like, "Oh, this is fun." Yeah, Blake. If you want to see that rage, uh, I saved that vod on my uh, on my channel. So you ju just search in my videos uh, category to find that. So, like the last half hour of that vid is uh, me raging against this damn lizard. And I'm just trolling, going like, "Yes, give me the rage. Go to the dark side. Go to the dark side." <laughs> yeah. All okay. Right, let's continue. Reading this. <clears throat> if you're reading this. You're dead. No. That's Dang not it. 
If you're reading this display correctly, okay, the only exit from this room is the whole fast old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. Are we reading this this like this display correctly, Baron? Or yeah, yeah. I will wing it. We'll <laughs> wing it. Wing it. Let it swing it. Yes. <clears throat> I go. At that moment, Iger's image winks onto your calm link with a crackling sound. You throw your head back in fear. <sighs> the image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going on down there, rookie? Talk to me! Right now! Seriously! Hmm. Monica's down, Iger. The vault was a setup. Are you going to tell her that her lesbian lover just died and expect her to be able to like finish the mission? Look, I I am I, I just like to get out of out of this all of out of the way right now. So. Well, what? We've only been scissoring for like two weeks, and I'm still practicing getting better. And you can't tell me she is dead. I wanted the sex to be so much better. Seriously, I haven't even been able to give her an orgasm yet. <laughs> <coughs> You got very quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just waiting for you to say, what? I did! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Seriously, you okay. have to save this in your vault. Just letting you know, you have to if you can. Seriously. What? This is too much fun. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Um... Okay, we'll just go with the second option. No time to explain. We'll be exiting via an old servant's entrance to the west of the main grounds. I need you to keep that exit clear. Poor, poor Iger. I feel so bad. <clears throat> okay, come on, stream. Mm -hmm. Iger's science is thick, like a clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, but when she finally responds, her tone is professional. Roger that. I'll miss you forever, my lesbian love. She cuts out without another word. Alright. Oh, uh, here's a glory part. Oh, God, I'm the lad. <sighs> Damn you, Thunderstorm. Oh, hey, Gloria. <laughs> Gloria turns to face you. Her movement's smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Baron Kimball? Mm. She also gives you the sexy eye, just so you know. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> or let, let me do this in my best George Takei impression. Oh, my. Ooh, that was quite good. Uh, I practiced that for a lot. <laughs> I, I'm, so I'm also known by that phrase on my college. <laughs> uh, it seems like everyone has a bit of like, for lack of a better way of putting it, like nerdy kind of interests. Has to be able to say that phrase at least somewhat well. Like it's like a requirement, like when you go you, to get like your nerd cart stand or whatever like it, that's one of the requirements like when you go and get your goth cart stand like it's something like okay do you own a pair of fishnets have you had pet rats how much of your wardrobe is black it has to be like 90 plus percent and i, w I wasn't aware that that rats were a part of being gothic but okay <laughs> well most goths have rats or a black cat if you have a black cat yes that that's make that makes more sense yeah, you get so many goth points, and you know you have to save up your goth points so yeah, so that every once in a while you can do something non-gothic, you know, to extract a few points. But you need to have some in the bank to do that, because if you get like a deficit, you are kicked out of the club. You know, they take your goth card and they burn it and stuff like that. It's not pretty. And then they dye your hair, you know, like a natural brown, and <sighs> it's it's devastating. <laughs> 
Uh, it's like a little bit been me with metal, like take a few points every time I listen to country. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And yes, Blake, a raven would also be a very, very good pet. Never more. Although I would probably end up with a stuffed one because I'm not allowed to have pets here. Too bad. So, yeah. I don't have the space either, so mm. it's all the same. Uh, I have a dog, a cat, and a few horses here. Oh, I envy you. I love horses and I love horseback riding. Uh, I was uh, quite good back in the day. I mean, oh, I, I well, you, you, you can't see them now, but I'm looking at my trophies. <laughs> I'll just imagine them. Well, I can send a picture if you want. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can do that, but maybe we should continue the game because that's yes, what we... Yes, yes. <laughs> we keep forgetting that. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just really get caught up in our nice conversations. Exactly, and that's why I need to upload this so everyone can hear how much fun we are having. I'll try to make this a highlight. The, that'll, <laughs> that'll be safe forever. Yay! <laughs> All right. Our escape route will be open in a minute. We'll hold tight until then. Yes, and then I have to wait again. Well, it's it's Dietrich, so it's part of part for me. Oh yeah. By hold, Go ahead. by hold tight, you mean sit here and fry anyone who comes through the door, don't you? Well, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Districts, Dietrichs, wow, districts. <laughs> Dietrich's oh, paint expression twists into a mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. I can do that. Yeah, he seems like the type that can do that. I believe him. Good. Now let's find some cover and wait for the door locks, locks to disarm. Ooh. 